Hisaki Kato versus AJ Matthews. Of course, Hisaki Kato, known for his kickboxing skills, his knockout ability, his unorthodox techniques. We saw against Joe Schilling, a great world-class kickboxer, knocked him out with a Superman punch. He has incredible power. He's a big middleweight who loves to stand and trade, but it's his versatility and his trickiness that make him deadly. AJ Matthews, phenomenal Muay Thai in his own right. A great athlete, big, physical, powerful, and his lines, his ability to throw straight punches with incredible force. That's his biggest asset. Great kicks, but he tends to look for the right opening, the right combination. His Akikato catches you when you don't expect it. AJ's kryptonite in the past has been grapplers, wrestlers that take him down and work their ground and pound. In this case, he has a guy in his Saki Kato who is willing to stand and bang with him. I don't see anything in this fight but a Muay Thai war with MMA gloves on. Keys to victory for his Saki Kato keep AJ Matthews guessing. The Superman punch, the spinning back fist, the unorthodox strikes that hit you when you don't expect it, that's the key to getting AJ Matthews. Don't stay on the outside. AJ Matthews has incredible leg kicks. His Muay Thai chops you down with the legs. Do not stand there. Circle, angle, check, be ready for a leg kick attack. For AJ Matthews, let him fly. He has a problem of waiting for the perfect punch, the perfect counter to land. Throw combinations, be aggressive from the outset. Also, use your clinch. Hizaki Kato can't throw the crazy stuff if you're in the plum. Neutralizing him, throwing knees, that's where he wants to be. AJ Matthews versus Hisaki Kato opening up the main card on Spike TV. Do not be late, it's gonna be fireworks.